Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this video, we are going to see how to find a factorial using the while loop. So in last video, you saw how we find the factorial using the for loop. So same program, I am going to continue using the while loop. So how we can find factorial? So in mathematics, we have saw something like this one. Okay, so here 4 and this symbol is factorial. So how we can find factorial of any number in mathematics? So that means it will start with the number. Okay, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. What will be happen like overall calculation? It will come like 4 into 3 into 2 that will comes 24. So that means whatever number is there, it will start and it will go till 1. Otherwise, we can say like it will go like 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. Right? Both are same approach. So this is a way to find a factorial in mathematics. So same way we need to implement in our code. So let's begin. So what we can do, we have to give here first of all input. So I'm going to give number like int num equal to 4. That means I'm going to find the factorial of 4. So while look how it will work. So in that while loop, we have to give some condition. Okay, till this condition you will run after that you have to break it. So what we can do, just give here int i equal to 1. Why I'm giving an i? Because what will be the factorial of 4? You just saw, right? It will be like 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. So that's why I given i as a 1. So what will be happen in the while loop? I'm going to give increment like, okay, i plus plus. So first time it will be 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Now just give one while loop. And in this while loop, I'm going to give condition like i less than equal to number, correct? Here num, that means it is input and now input is 4. So now give system dot out dot print ln. So we can see like okay what the i value is currently printing. Now run the program. So if you run this program, you can see it's keep repeating one 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 one. So why it is repeating? Because we have not given i increment value. So what we can do? So just stop the server and come and give here i plus plus. Correct. Now again run. You can see right 1 2 3 4 correct so it is working perfectly now we have to multiply 1 then 1 into 2 then again into 3 then again into 4 so what we can give now we need to give here int output equal to 1 correct so it will hold our the final value now what we can do we can give like output equal to output into i correct now i am going to comment this line and after that while loop i am going to print the final output now just run the program you can see it is showing one why it is showing one because here i have put it one value so you have to also see your mistakes because maximum time people can do this kind of mistake so just keep here i run it correct you can see it is coming 24 so how again we can cross check like okay this has been run like this way correct so what you can do just come and give here system.out.println and give here current value give here same thing you can give either copy this one or just copy this one both will be same only okay now run this program you can see right it is showing one then two then six then 24 so how it is coming i will show you so when first time this while loop run right on that time i value was one correct and output value is also one correct so the output was one so current value is one after that we have given here i plus plus right that means now the i value is two correct so when this run like next time the i value is two and output was what output is one correct so the final value will be two correct you can see here right so now on that time 
again i plus plus is there so that means i value is now 3 when it will go for the third time when i value is 3 correct on that time what this output will be hold it will hold two value right the value is 2 so now the current output is 6 only when this line executed after that again i value becomes 4 right so when it will comes now you can see 4 is less than equal to 4 correct so it will satisfy this condition now what will be happen the i value is 4 and output is holding now value as a 6 so now we got value as a 24 after that this i value what will be happen it was earlier 4 now it became 5 correct so now it will go and it will not satisfy this condition because 5 is not satisfying this condition because 5 is not less than and equal to 4 so what will be happen it's stop that one and after that it's executed the final output as a 24 right so you saw how we find the factorial of any number using for loop and while loop thanks